Hey I'm Zaif here and welcome to Galaxy Kart Overview. Here we go with another kart racing game in a very much similar fashion that we've had with Dash Dash World. It's gonna be hard to compete with such polish and quality since I still believe the other game was very much ahead of its time. If it's currently dead, it really depends. I think it's just the VR in general isn't very a uh, suitable medium for a couch co-op gameplay situation that Mario Kart kind of represents. Still, I love when the devs go in that direction because it's one of my favorite genres to play. And now that we have a quest free out there, I expect some big things. So Galaxy Kart is an arcade kart racing game where across multiple courses, tournaments, characters and everything all together, you need to gear up for an unforgettable journey, race people around the cosmos and achieve the sweet victory. I was keeping an eye on this game because it released before on PSVR 2 and then was comfortably sitting on App Lab with an official release pretty much in due time. There's gonna be some blatant comparisons because we of course only have two games of such kind on the store. Galaxy seems more cartoony and puts much heavier emphasis on unique characters that have special abilities. Some of the frames in the trailer and couple screenshots are kinda questionable in quality, meaning that they seem too good to be true and I'm very interested in how things look inside. There are also themes going on around the maps, cards and every single asset has its own design. It will essentially come down to the polish because competing with its predecessor, in my eyes it's kinda impossible but in my VR history I've seen exceptions and this one has the potential to be one of them. I'm not a developer though, so I have no power nor control over how things will go. <laughs> Let's go race in the galaxy. Baby! This resolution level is just unacceptable from the get go, like... Even without forbidden rendering, it's not really good. <laughs> Let's just focus on the gameplay for now. But I can't really avoid looking at this stuff. <laughs> Enable collision, well yeah. Seems kinda basic, but... We select the map, we have six. I wish there would be a random option. And those courses are in this realm, so it's even more paths to cross. That's already a preview. Thing is that I wish there would be some kind of statistics if, for example, the speed of the car changes, acceleration and those kind of things. So we only have three from the start. I mean, sausage time it is. And we can choose the vehicle, but they are still themed. But like, what's the difference again? Yeah, I mean, basic. But I'm ready for getting the controls. Jeez. 
Jesus. The rendering is crazy because if I just slightly move my head to the side, throw up and down, I don't see anything. I like that we actually steer with a wheel. Seems kind of random. Get out, sheep. Like, I wish I would shoot or something. I mean, the maps aren't crazy, but... They do the job selling the ambience. It's just the quality isn't up to par in comparison to Dash Dash, of course. What the hell happened there? <laughs> Does this battle work? I feel like I still need to use them somehow. Okay, still press. I wonder if I can kind of drift. I'll be the last here. Also penetrate the environment. I somehow made it. I mean, for the first race, it wasn't that bad, I suppose. But definitely the graphics hold this game from progressing. Gameplay is kind of chaotic, but I'd have to play more to discover more advanced mechanics, which we'll just do now. Maybe with multiplayer? Because Dash Dash is dead. I mean, <laughs> that's just blatantly putting out there, but it seems like Galaxy could share the same fate. I mean, I'm in Europe, so my time zones in terms of cop are always screwed up. What did they unlock? I think difficulty.
Let's just change some things. The pixels here? Oh my god. So can I drift somehow? There's just a break. I also need to remember to hold the accelerate in both hands because if you let go then you stop naturally. <laughs> It's also basic driving because you go or you stop, there's not much else really. It's weird because with some objects I stop, but then the others just go through. I don't know if it's just not paying attention to the details. I think it's just better to hold the accelerate in left hand. <laughs> Heavy auto aim. Like here in dash dash I would just drift and then accelerate, boost. But here is just forward. <laughs> oh, a good one. That's the same. <laughs> I thought I was first before. Okay, still, when I jump, there is a boost. This UI is also a bit high. Yeah, the pixels are crazy outside of the rendering. See here, I should stop. But the gravity is also pretty heavy. <laughs> From what I'm seeing, there's not much else going on besides racing and the multiplayer, which seems to be dead, but you unlock stuff after completing stuff, pretty much. <laughs> no customization with the avatar, because there is none, it's just preset uh, models. I guess you can try the weapons here, so... It's some sort of a tutorial.
but it's just through the same. <laughs> I think I would appreciate more clarity if there are any differences between the vehicles. I know characters have special abilities, but then an explanation of what they do would be nice. There is lack of attention to detail, especially with the assets going through stuff and you as well do while racing. Generally, developers hate C3 students like that, but in comparison to Dash Dash, it's just not as polished as it should be on this level of tech. Because remember, the first one released on the original Quest and it was like the quality was just groundbreaking, but here there's still features to work on, add in, and complete the vision. It's cute for what it is, and I feel like on this channel, this word is becoming like a slur. <laughs> but it isn't anything high end, and there is some kind of level to maintain here. 